Uh, welcome to another mathematics presentation. So in this presentation, I want us to look at the mathematics paper one question that is coming from travel graphs. So this is the question right here. So the question reads, the diagram below shows a speed time graph of a car journey. So this is the speed time graph. So our question A, find the acceleration during the first five seconds. So they want us to find the acceleration during the first five seconds. So in the vertical axis, we have speed that is measured in meters per second. Though in, in the y axis, we have time measured in seconds. So they want us to find the acceleration in the first five seconds right here. So we are going to come up with uh, our formula to answer our first question. We are going to say acceleration is equal to final velocity minus initial velocity over time. So acceleration is equal to, so when you look at um, uh, the particle started moving from here, okay, from zero uh, meters per second coming here, which was 30 meters per second. So zero is the initial velocity and the final velocity is 30, okay? So we are going to write the final velocity is a 30 minus the zero, which is the initial velocity, divided by, so they have said acceleration during the first five seconds, in this five, uh, first five seconds, so I'm going to put a five. So therefore, acceleration is equal to 30 minus zero, it's a 30 over a five. So acceleration is equal to five year one, five into 36. So we have six meters per second, square so this is our acceleration so we have answered our question a1 let us now go to our question b so this is our question b right here if the total distance traveled was 825 meters find the value of t so the total distance of this journey they have told us that it's 825 what is the value of t so this t is showing the total time taken for the whole journey. So when you look at this shape, this is a trapezium. So distance under the graph is the same as area. So I'm going to apply for finding the area of the of the trapezium. Okay. So this is how we are going to to answer it. So we are going to write question B. Our distance is equal to so we are going to write uh, the formula for finding the area of the trapezium, which is A plus B in brackets times H over uh, 2. So we need to know the value of A, the value of B, and the height. So how can we get these values? We come back to our diagram. So from here to here, this is going to be presented by A. Then from here to here, this is B. Then the height is from here up to this point this is our height so the height from here to here the corresponding value is a 30 so h is equal to 30 then from here to here we have a t so the difference in time between t minus 0 b is equal to what a t okay then for a it's from here to here so here we have a 15 here we have a 5 so the difference is 15 minus 5 we get a 10 so a is equal to 10 okay let us now substitute so we come back to our formula so we are going to write where there is d they have told us that the distance is 825 so where there is d we'll put that value where there is a we'll put a 10 so write 10 plus where there is b it's a t cross bracket times where there is h the height, it's see, this 30 right here, over a 2, equal to, the distance is 825. So, from here, this is what we can do. We can say 2 here, 1, 2 into 30, it's a 15. So, we have uh, 10 plus T, in brackets, multiplied by a 15 is equal to 825 so from here we can uh, expand 15 times 10 this will give us uh, 
This will give us 150 plus 15 times t to give us 15 t equal to 825. So from here, we can cross, we take 150 this side so that we remain with t. So I have 15 t equal to 825 minus 150. So 825 minus uh, minus 150, we are going to remain with, so we remain with 15 t equal to, so when you subtract, you are going to get 675. So we divide both sides by a 15 even this side by a 15. So this and this cancel. Therefore, t equal to. So 15 here, 1. 15 into 7. Okay, this is paper 1. 15 into 7. It goes there 4 times. Okay, remainder 7. So this 7 and the 5, you have a 75. 15 into 75. It goes there five times so t is equal to 45 so remember the t is time so 45 seconds okay so here we said acceleration is equal to six meters per second square then t is equal to 45 seconds okay so let us just find now our last question which is uh this one right here which is question C. So how do you find question C? Okay, so question C reads, find the average speed for the whole journey. So what is the average speed for the whole journey? So to find the average speed uh, for this whole journey, you are going to use the formula. Okay, so this is uh, C. You are going to say speed is equal to total distance over total time taken. So, speed equal to total distance. They have told you that the total distance of this whole journey is 825 meters. So, 825 meters divided by... So, what is, uh, what is the time? The total time. The total time you have found that it is uh, a 45. Okay? So, where there is total time here, we are going to put a 45. 45 seconds okay so from here uh what you are going to do is we are going to do this we are going to say speed is equal to so i'll try to reduce this i'll say 5 here 5 into 45 it's a 9 then 5 into 8 it's a 1 remainder a 3 so 3 and a 2 you have 32 5 into 32 because there are many times, 6 times, remainder a 2. This one, the 5, 25. 5 into 25, you get a 5. So we are having 165 divided by 9. So we can simplify. We say speed is equal to. So here we are going to say 9 into 16. Okay? 9 into 16. Because there are many times, uh, 1. Okay? I'll write a 1. Okay? one remainder a seven then nine into 75 it's eight remainder three over nine so uh the whole number is 18 okay so here again you say speed is equal to 18 one over three this was our speed so what i've done is uh, 3 can go into itself. 3, 1, 3 into 9, it's a 3. This is where I've gotten this. So, I'll write on the answer that uh, speed, the average speed was 18 or number 1 over 3 meters per second. Okay? So, these are the answers to this question. So, thank you so much, everybody. We've come to the end of our session. This has been your presenter, Mr. Mrenga. Bye-bye.